Hello. Okay, again. Uh, sorry again. Apologize. Uh, I had to interrupt the previous stream and uh, make a new one because that one wasn't working. I hope this one is better and the connection is more stable. But anyway, I will draw this view and for today I will use a uh, Moleskine sketchbook uh, in here as usual. So it's this Moleskine sketchbook. So I did few streams in these days. Actually, I did the Duomo a few days ago and uh, yesterday I went to the uh, Consonno ghost town near Lecco and I drew this one and you can see more of the story uh, in my Patreon page I published uh, the entire uh, day like uh, almost like a diary <laughs> following each of the steps and how I chose this place and the back uh, the story um, the background of um, the place stories about this place where I was. So check my Patreon page if you want to know more about all these drawings I'm doing and uh, support my sub support my Patreon as well uh, and help me to reach 100 Patreon so I can uh, do more videos and tutorials and live streams in Japan in March, end of March, where I'll be doing a cycle challenge in Shimanami Kaido. So support me on Patreon and you can unlock exclusive content as well, as well as uh, tutorial, more tutorial videos and uh, how to learn to draw in ink. So I'm gonna sketch on a new page and also if you like my live sections, uh, like drop me a comment and um, put a like on my videos and uh, you, you can consider sub subscribe as well to my YouTube channel so yeah I'm glad you are back and uh, yeah I will carry on drawing on this uh, view and I'm gonna tilt the view slightly on the back So I think this view is good. Actually, I will go, I will come closer, like here. And I will draw on this page. Yeah. So I will draw on a new page. And uh, I will be using, let me see, let me check my battery level, 45%, yeah, I can still carry on for a bit. I will plug my external microphone so you can hear me better. Oh, six people. Thank you, thank you for joining the chat and um, thank you for watching this stream and supporting my uh, journey as well. So let me know if you like the place. So again, I want to show you where I am. So I am about to draw that beauty over there with the, the trees and uh, the bridge and a little bit of the boat maybe. So I'll be using my Moleskine page. So it's going to be a quick one. So I want to show you how I draw as well uh, quickly when I'm around. So since today is a very beautiful place, a uh, beautiful day, sorry, I want to maybe have a look around and uh, maybe find another place to, to draw or something. I haven't had lunch actually. <laughs> So we will finish this one and um, and then go to find a spot to eat. So I will carry on for
for this series of drawing with this uh, nice fountain pen. This is uh, a fountain pen from Andrea Ottobrelli. You can check his Instagram. I will put in the description below when I'm gonna finish the streaming. And um, you can see um, you can see his, pro his product basically. He has a really nice logo as well. Uh, I, it's a medium nib loaded with um, loaded with Lamy turquoise ink and uh, with a mix of black ink as well. He has uh, maybe 20% of black and 80% uh, of turquoise ink in here. So it is not waterproof, so I can watch ink washing it at the end. So if you want to increase more brightness and contrast. So let me know if you can see everything all right and you can hear everything all right. I will read uh, the comments every now and then. So So the castle is over so the castle if you can see is on the water so I'm going to draw the level of my eyes which I normally put in here This is a nice uh, height to put because it's uh, in the one third, on the lower third of this this frame. And if you want to learn more about composition and how I use the rule of thirds, uh, you can check my online course, online class on class 101. Uh, and actually, my online course uh, became um, a international class, so it's been translated in uh, all every languages and distributed in all countries. So now you have the opportunity to su subscribe to the platform class101.com and uh, unlock. Uh, and un having unlimited access to all uh, the other classes on the platform as well. So you, you uh, can watch my videos and other videos about other types of um, drawing styles or they have cookings as well. <laughs> it's like loads of stuff, like uh, master classes in there. But check my uh, ink drawings class where you can find uh, a lot of tips how to draw perspectives and um, and uh, how to draw in ink but not only you can apply all this um, knowledge on other type of medium as well I'm recently starting to do a lot of w watercolor and um, yeah I'm publishing more on my patreon page so you can know more f uh, on in there as well so let's start to frame the castle. So I want the castle to be roughly in here, in the center. So I'm gonna roughly draw where the entrance is. It's pretty much there. And I want to leave some area for the trees. So I'm gonna draw roughly the height of the castle is here that goes down into the water. I hope you can see everything all right. Let me know. Otherwise, I will try to adjust my position. This streaming sessions out outdoor is so tricky, but I really want to find a good way. I'm still working on this. I want to really find a good way to show my process outdoor. And um, I'm looking to use my GoPro and stream on my GoPro but unfortunately my phone doesn't support very well the, uh, the GoPro and uh, the video is quite heavy so it crashes a lot of time so yeah I'm still figuring out so have some patience so I will put the bridge in here I want the bridge to be quite central in the composition. Unfortunately, the bridge is under uh, refurbishment, so there is a lot of working stuff there. Some fences. 
but it's still beautiful. So I want to capture that. And uh, yeah, some facts about this castle. Um, yeah, this was a military castle uh, until not long time ago. But, um, and everything here is related to uh, the Scala family, which is also from Verona. So they are one of the, uh, probably the most powerful uh, family that was in the Northern Italy during the 13th and uh, 14th century. And um, yeah, do you know the Teatro La Scala in Milan? Yeah, they are named after them, the Scala. Scala means ladder or stairs in Italian as well. So the symbol of the family is a ladder. So you can find that symbols everywhere in here. And in Milan, the Castello Sforzesco as well. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, they were from Verona and they are pretty powerful and rich. So they, they conquer different areas of Northern Italy back in the medieval age and during the Renaissance as well. And um, they commission a lot of artists to come to these cities and um, draw art. So increase their prestige as well. Like the Sforza family uh, from Spain and um, the Visconti family in Pavia. So they are all part of the club of big families and strong, powerful families that support the artists. And, uh, but nowadays things are changed and you can support me by becoming my patron as well. <laughs> so check my, my patron page as well and support my uh, ongoing projects and help me to do more bigger projects around the world. So I'm drawing this uh, castle. Actually, have you found, if anyone found how to call um, the, the thingy on top of the castle, please let me know. Those swirl of, uh, Oh, sorry, there was a message uh, coming. Yeah, those, uh, those shapes, uh, the tail shape on the top. Let me know in the chat below. Stig Guts, Stig Guts, 237. The view and sound is good, perfect. I'm, I'm good to go, I'm good to go. Thank you for watching this stream. And I'm gonna draw this lovely castle and then I will join actually my family. They are all here. <laughs> uh, I'm traveling with them. And um, today I just came here because I love uh, to spend some time with them and uh, to draw this as well. So I'm drawing everything roughly where they should be and uh, if something changes, it doesn't matter, everything can be, can be fixed if you draw sometime with the back of the, the nib for example in this case. So I want to fix all the elements first in my sketch and then I will proceed using the front of the nib and carry on inking them. This is uh, how I do things. Yeah, again, if you want to know more about uh, ink drawings and how I approach and uh, compose the views as well, check my class 101. Uh, it's my online class about ink drawings. And um, by subscribing to uh, the platform you can access to every class they have is an un unlimited access on a monthly subscription as well
You can find all uh, the details in the bio on Instagram. So check my Instagram page. So here is the furthest castle. So this castle is formed by three main towers and uh, uh, sorry, three sides towers and one tall towers that they call maschio, which means uh, man. So normally in the defensive uh, structures, the man is um, the, um, the place where they guard. Uh, they, it's basically the, the rook um, where they have basically the, the most important person inside. If the defensive wall uh, is being taken, they have to go into the, the maschio, the main tower. So it's another inner uh, defensive system as well. It's like a system of rings. Okay, so I will roughly put the trees in here. So the, the castle, I want to put that in here. The maschio, the main portion of the tower. I'm giving a slightly tilted perspective, so the perspective lines go somewhere in here on the horizon line. And when I'm drawing the people, uh, actually I want to put them slightly higher than the horizon line because they, the bridge is slightly higher. So I will need to take this in account as well. Let me check the connection. Yeah, it's doing pretty well. So the connection is doing pretty well. So, roughly, I want to put the, the flag in here, and um, the towers will be in here. I think I can, now I'm gonna flip to the, the front of the nib and uh, we'll carry on drawing these roofs first because I roughly established all the elements that's gonna be in the portion, in the composition and I'm using a um, a oh, tripod actually it's a stick actually, it's not a tripod, it's a stick uh, for holding the camera today because yesterday I found, well, in the last stream I did, I found out that the necklace, the collar for holding the GoPro is quite shaky. So it's not ideal for uh, time lapses. I think uh, holding, putting on a stick with a tripod kind of thing works much better for the live. But let me know in the comments below if uh, you, yeah, you have any view on this. If you find the last streaming okay. Yeah, let me know in the comments below so we can make this live stream sessions more interactive and fun. And I'm moving everything from Instagram to YouTube because here the chat system is way better than Instagram. So here is basically the height of the the height of uh, the water. So the water level is here, and. Uh, My eye level is on this line here, so because I'm sitting above the um, the water level. It's pretty warm. <laughs> I'm still wearing a jacket, um, um, down jacket. So I think I'm gonna change very soon that to something lighter.
So since it's a very quick drawing, once you, uh, once I have uh, put all the elements, I've established all the proportions and the perspective lines. I really can go quicker and uh, draw the elements. Um, like not 100% precise. You don't doesn't need to be all precise because it's a quick drawing. The one thing you want to express here is the overall looking, the hue, the values, the contrast of each of the elements rather than precisely where each of the lines are. So it's not about drawing lines, it's about conveying the overall, um, it's the overall like quality of the lights and um, the composition as well and the depth. So you will need to be able to see, distinguish all the elements even when you are squinting your eyes. So. I think if it would be nice that YouTube Im implements a feature in the YouTube mobile streaming app where basically every contact that drop your message uh, there will be a audio sound or something that tells me when someone has written something in the chat that would be extremely handy and useful or maybe there is just i don't know how to use it So this is the gate, is where everyone is going in, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to draw the structures first. Okay. And uh, I really like these arches on the water and I really want to express the contrast and the shadow that this bridge casts on the wall and uh, in the in the castle and in the, in the water oh my god there is a car really wow I have to show you there is a car in the bridge the bridge was narrow super narrow I wonder how this car managed to squeeze in in the gates because that's the SUV car, it's pretty big. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's the view, guys. And um, yeah, I'm putting my phone back to the. So let me. Oh, there are some some comments. Brilliant from Hiran. Hiran. Brilliant. I always wanted to know how much time you take to draw these amazing sketches. Yeah. Well, you can now find find out. Thanks for the comments. I will show you. Roughly, I will take normally thirty to forty minutes. Uh, but if I do streaming, it may take a little bit longer because I will be focused on explaining you the process as well. Uh, but it can take between half and two, one hour. Ru, thank you. Can't tell what's that, so not good in English. <laughs> I will find out uh, on Google. I will, when I finish, uh, maybe when I'm taking a break after half an hour, uh, I will search for that word in English. Uh, in Italian, it's merely. Probably it would be something very close since these languages are not far away. Some some terms are uh, from Latin, maybe. So it could be very very similar, but I I don't know. So 
It might be very different, it might be very similar. Anyway. But thanks guys for following this stream and um, and follow all these uh, drawing sessions. As I said, I really love to um, share all these drawing processes with you, uh, but doing live stream is not always simple, so I will try to do my best. Especially the connection. I found out having a stable connection is so hard. It's really, really hard. Um, 31%. And um, it's really hard and you need to uh, have, I heard from professionals, um, like professional street streamers on Twitch, on, on YouTube, uh, they normally have a um, bag with a, a lot of gears, like machines that uh, streams on relying on four SIM, SIMs cards. So one is not reliable, of course, so they split the connection between four SIMs cards SIM cards, so they can always rely on others if someone just got interrupted. So, yeah. But of course, all these gears cost a lot of money. So, yeah, let's see. If I got enough support, I will uh, certainly consider to do a lot more on this case, on this type of drawings, live drawings. So there's a lot of there are a lot of people here. So I'm gonna draw all these people going in the bridge. They are silhouettes at the moment, so you don't need to put too many details. Put some shadows so you can distinguish them. And also I want to draw the tree. Never forget about trees, because trees helps you to frame the subject and make it stand out. So there is a little flag, the Italian flag, three colors, green, white and red. So the Italian flag is also called Tricolore because it has three colors. So roughly draw the elements in here. Don't worry too much about how they how many are they or no one will count. Well, now that I say that, probably you <laughs> is going to count you will count how many uh, how many of these features that will be in the picture and compare. Well, normally in the normal circumstances, no one will check at this scale, at least. Of course, if you are a hyper-realistic um, hyper artist, you want to 
catch every single details. Of course, in that case, you have to you have to be really careful in your observations, and um, you want to draw probably on a bigger format if you want to catch all the details. But I found that sometimes when you try to catch too many details, the drawing will lose its strength, and. Um, yeah, so it's, there is a really uh, a balance to follow, at least in, in what I'm doing. So I want to draw these uh, shadows of the, the windows. And uh, some details. And there is a very dark, super dark entrance here. I want to catch all the darker spots in, in here because it's, it's essential to make my um, subject stand out. So I got the castle right. And uh, let's add some sparkling effects. If you want to know more, you can check my online class. So let me put roughly this uh, pine here. So this is a Mediterranean pine. I love it because it looks so light. I will have a hint of another tree here on the side. Yeah, I will put some shadow later on. But I just want to fix all the elements in the scenery. Thank you. So I'm finishing to put some more people because I think I want to, yeah, convey the idea that. Um, people are getting into in order to get into the city you have to go through this bridge and the main gate so it's a very dark shape I'm gonna I'm gonna charge all 
the ink in here. So I really want it, it to be standing out. And uh, here as well, we'll put the, the underside of the bridge. And So there are lots of boats in here, they are covered, so I will just put the silhouettes for now of these boats. I will put roughly the silhouettes to frame the, the bottom part of the drawings. Let me check the battery, 23%. Okay, I might need to switch to my internal microphone and recharge the phone. I bought a dongle to charge both the phone and allow my external mic to be connected uh, and it will be arriving tomorrow. So <laughs> I uh, need to bear with me uh, for this one and uh, in, the, in the next one you will have my voice over a nice external microphone all the time. Okay, so here I've got the secret to to show all the shapes and make the shape standing out is to add shadow. and uh, it is key to show that and also if you have two sides and you if you want to show that um, there is two faces facing different angles uh, the best way is to put an, a shadow to one of the side so in this case I will put some texture in here I will use a vertical hatch in this case so you can see that the other side be will become automatically brighter because the sound is coming from the left of where I'm sitting so the shaded part will be on the right hand side so let me add some shadows here as well some of the shadows are darker Don't worry, I will go over with uh, a water brush later on, so I will be able to enhance all this shadowing later. There is a nice balcony actually here, on this side.
very angled shadow in here because there are there is a big tree in here that casts the shadow that's a good opportunity to put more more contrast oh yeah Oh, thanks. Good sketch, by the way. Uh, it takes courage to drawing and um, self-talking outside. Uh, yeah, well, it's the most difficult part is the self-talking uh, because I've been drawing for ages. So that part, I, the fear of drawing in public, I overcome, overcame that a long time ago because it's just uh, like, don't worry too much about what other people say. Um, just carry on uh, but the self-talking yes that requires a bit of preparation and, um, and just I think guess get to the habit of just talk, talking and explaining that uh, I did an online class that's why I learned a lot of way to uh, how to draw and talk at the same time through that so that helps me a lot actually and uh, yeah but thank you thank you for your for your comments and there is another one um, homeboy your stream quality is excellent in this area perfect I was so worried about the stream quality uh, but I'm glad that this time it worked yesterday I went to uh, Consono which is the ghost town and uh, I wanted to do the live there, but then uh, they said the connection above that little abandoned town is not good at all. So uh, yeah, I, re I rethought and maybe uh, to do somewhere else, which I, then I came here at Consono, uh, sorry, at uh, Sirmione. And, uh, but instead I did a really good reportage reportage and uh, video as well um, I filmed a lot and recently I purchased a drone as well uh, where I used yesterday in the ghost city and um, I will be sharing more footages and uh, information about the, the images I did with that on my patreon page because I uh, got the drone thanks to your support on patreon and um, Without that, I wouldn't be able to do all these projects. So yeah, I will be showing you all the drone footages I will be doing later on. Uh, I will collect in a video about uh, the ghost city. So I will be releasing the full version on, uh, on Patreon first. And then um, I will do another one on YouTube. It's a shorter ver version, but you can see some some drone f footages as well. I'm preparing to do more stuff in Japan. That's why that's why I'm doing all this work, homework to be prepared when I will be there. So yeah, if you want to support my work and um, if you want to see more about my upcoming challenge, cycling challenge and drawing challenge in Japan, uh, help me to reach 100 Patreon by the 13th of March, which is not far. Um, it's in one week and a half. Yeah, so far I've got uh, more supporters, but uh, there is still some road to cover to 100. I hope I will be able to do that. 
and thank you, thanks to your support, I will be able to stream more, buying a, a bigger SIM card to stream, and a modem as well, a Wi-Fi modem. Uh, so yeah, I hope to reach 100. Help, help me, everyone, if you uh, love to see more about my uh, drawing trip in Japan. Yeah, it's not far away. Uh, it's in a few weeks. At the moment, I've got around 15 supporters. So yeah, it's a long way to go <laughs> still. But uh, yeah, I, I really hope I can get to that point. Because it's really, I will be staying more days there and uh, we be, need to buy and, uh, buy and book more hotels buy more SIM cards to be able to do that. So I will be doing only uh, with enough support from, from you. But thank you very much for everyone uh, that is already my patron and uh, or if you are watching this stream, because uh, there are different ways to support my work. The, the most uh, active and direct way is through patrons, but also putting likes to my live streams, videos, and uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel helps a lot to grow my YouTube channel as well and subsequently um, getting monetization um, because getting that at that point you need to have a certain amount of watching hours so yeah doing streams helps from that point of view but I love to do streaming as well and uh, talking and um, drawing at the same time Okay, I think um, I want to draw some birds here and then I want to put some details on the water and then to the sky and then I'm going to put the title. So I want to create some reflection and the best way is to suggest the movement of the water because they are, there is an horizontal movement is to draw uh, some horizontal lines and uh, drop some shadows so there are lots of boats in here so there is a big opportunity to carve this boat out from uh, creating some some visual contrast like some hard shadow boundaries to frame these boats And especially under the water in here, there is some reflection of the bridge. So it can really go darker in these areas. And uh, I will be using some water brush to, to highlight these areas as well. So it's key to create this value. A rule of thumbs is always uh, having two different tones in areas that are touching each other. So you can really show the, the shape. For example, if this area is white, the darker area next to it should be very dark. So you can express this dark area like things I've learned in architecture is all about shadow and lights so the best way to create more uh, be beauty basically is to create contrast is a play is um, a very very interesting and delicate play between lights and shadows as uh, Le Corbusier a famous architect said
ลองทำไหมครับสำหรับ to make something brighter you always need something darker next to it Okay, I think uh, the water is pretty much there. I don't want to put too much, too much, too many details at the moment. Uh, although I want to put some lines in here because this facade is the in the back. So this area, this facade facing the sun, will be lighter. So, let's put some some text. What time is it? 51 minutes. So yeah, it's pretty. It's about one hour now. So yeah, let's unplug. I will take a break, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will stand up a bit, changing the battery to the power bank. I will detach my microphone in three, two, one, and a go. And now I'm on the internal microphone. I hope you can still hear me. You see, I detached this dongle, connected to my microphone. So, yeah, without the double output dongle, I will need to wait um, and do this trick every time oh yeah so i just show you what it is now look do you like it yeah i'm quite satisfied let me put on the other with the other pen so it is here so the next thing i'm gonna do is to add some contrast with the water brush uh, add the title and um, I will leave actually the sky as it is I won't be adding my usual vertical strips uh, vertical lines so yeah I think it's getting there let me know your view do you like this view and uh, do you like how the sketch is coming along and uh, let me know if you're drawing with me. Uh, so, yeah, I'm standing up a little bit to allow my blood circulation in the legs work again. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音> Okay, I'm back. So, what time is there now? It's about half past three in the afternoon. Hola, I'm back. Let me sit down and finish this drawing.
Alrighty, I'm back. There is a bit of shadow that cast on my page, unfortunately. Um, let me see if this is better. Actually, no. Well, I will show you later. Uh, I will carry on and show you later the outcome. Maybe if I put... Oh, sorry. If I put this in the middle... Oh yeah, that's much better actually. Yeah, let, let's let's do it. I will keep in between the legs and the carry on. Oh, that's my shadow. Hello, hello everyone. Say hi. Where are you watching from? Let me know. So this is uh, Sirmione. Uh, I will put the title here. I will put castle for now. I will put the hatch. Ti sono? And um, I think I'm going to put a frame around, but I will leave the tree out. So... Uh, yeah, I think a frame would be nice. Signature, because um, some people ask me why I put the signature before the end of the drawing. Um, well, this is quite uh, quite easy. It's for a practical reason, because when uh, in ink drawing you cannot go back, or you it's not nice to draw on top of something, uh, because the risk is to uh, confuse 
and making the drawings uh, confusing. So if I put the drawing, if I put the, the signature before in here, I know where I should draw and I know the boundary where I should stop. So yeah, that's as uh, simple as it is. So it's, it is really for a very practical reason and it's easier uh, for a compositional reason. And uh, let me draw some shadows on the boat. I don't want to give too many details because um, I want to draw more attention on the castle, which is the main thing, which is the subject. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much there. For the ink drawing, I will add more darker spots. Yeah, uh, let me add the date of today. So it is now actually, I will no, yeah, let me put it. It's the 5th of March. I will write horizontally in this time because I don't want to clash with the birds. No, actually, uh, zero 03, it's fine. I will. There should be enough. 23. I will just hide it behind the birds. Sometimes you can use this trick to make things like they are on purpose, they are done on, on purpose. So I want to add a few other birds. There are many, many of them. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, oops, I swear maybe before because the connection was lost and I thought I was um, I was on my uh, battery, not connected to my power bank, but I don't know what is gone missed. Uh, I hope I didn't miss too much. I think it's still online. Sorry about the F words, probably this stream is going to be demonetized. But anyway, I'm not uh, as... Uh, I'm, I don't have enough followers to get the monetization anyway. So <laughs> it's all right. Sorry about before. But uh, I think I'm still online. Because I didn't attach my power bank in there, so I almost uh, lost the, the battery because now it's at 4%. It's not a very good place when you want to stream. So now it's firmly connected. Let me double check. Yeah, it is charging. Okay, let's change the pen. So I'm gonna use the water brush. I'm gonna leave you this one in the uh, link below when I'm gonna bloat this streaming. So this is a Pentel. It's a Pentel uh, water brush. It's loaded with clear water. And uh, what I'm gonna do is to increase the darker area and make it more vibrant. On the bridge, this area are super cool to highlight. And um, use dotted lines never use solid like lines that uh, otherwise would be too long i want to highlight all these windows because i really love how they look 
to give some dark spot. Yeah, so with quick strokes you can really enhance the drawings and make it more expressive because otherwise with um, with uh, phantom pen with ink lines with line work you have to make a lot of lines in order to make areas certain areas darker So I want to highlight this window strip in here and in here. Okay, so. Let me add some these strokes in on the leaf. Always use bigger brush to do that. So that will become more expressive. Put the darker area on the bottom. And uh, yeah, I think you're good to go. This is good. I will put some accent to the top. These areas are darker. So I want to put some structure on top. And uh, all these parts is pretty dark. Okay, I think it's almost there. So let's add some shadow in here to highlight the boats a little bit more. The water. the flag here I think the flag needs to be deserved deserve to be more visible and uh, yeah all this area underneath where there are steps this uh, it's really good to show them All right. Yep, I think this is uh, uh, the complete version. I think I'm, I've done this one. So just putting this back and showing you the view. So this is the castle view of Sirmione. And um, 
that's the castle. Yeah, let me know what do you think about this drawing. Um, I think I will maybe introduce some lines, maybe in the sky or maybe not. But at the moment, I I think I'm uh, gonna stop this drawing for today, and I will maybe add some more details at home or something. But yeah, this is my third drawing of the drawing challenge, uh, the live stream, just draw it live stream. So let me put the camera back and this is uh, Sirmione. Let me go to the other side actually. Let me go to the other side. So this is the castle and this is the view. Hope you can see it. But thank you very much everyone for watching this stream and uh, watch everything until now. <laughs> I really appreciate your, uh, your effort and uh, your participation. And um, as usual, uh, drop a like if you like the content of this video and if you want to see more of these streams in the future. Let me know in the comments below, drop me a like and consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And also check my Patreon page and uh, help me to reach 100 supports to, uh, in order to uh, share more about my upcoming cycle and the drawing trip in Japan by the 15th of March. And uh, there are a lot of people, like it's about, they are about to go into a boat tour. But I will leave you uh, with this beautiful sunny day of the castle and uh, these drawings for now. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.